Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So I'm Candy, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a tour of our home gym. I believe we started this probably like close to a year ago, so it's been quite the adventure, and I'm so excited that it is finally done. It's so much more enjoyable to work out every day, and I just wanna do a little tour for you guys, share where things are from. I will try to link as much as I can down in the description below, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment, or you can always DM me through Instagram at Our Family Nest. So first, this area over here is kind of like our cardio area. And what I really love about it is our floor, just because it's kind of like a light gray, sort of whitewash. And I don't know, it just gives it kind of like a really nice open feeling. And uh, first up here, we have the bike, which is probably my least favorite, just because, I don't know, Bicycle seats are just not the most comfortable, but I do like to add in a mixture of riding the bike with my cardio. So this is not anything super fancy if you're looking for a bike to add to your gym or just somewhere in your home. This is called the Soul, and it's actually from Amazon and it serves its purpose. It does a great job and actually here on the uh, little stand where you could put like a book or phone or whatever, it has this like QR code. And if you scan this, it has like an app with workouts and stuff, kind of like a Peloton, not quite as dramatic, but at least still there are free workouts that comes with this. So we have this fan back here in the corner. It's actually one of those like super high industrial fans. We used it a lot. Um, last year when we worked out down here with our trainer but with it being winter time i don't feel like it's getting like that hot down here but we do have this down here if we need it when we're getting into our intense workouts once it's warm again and then the scale that i have i just brought this down here i don't even get on the scale chase does every day so he kept going up to our room and getting on our scale up there and i finally just we had an extra scale so i brought this down here uh here we have our nordic track treadmill kind of have a love-hate relationship with the nordic track just because we had it i want to say maybe nine months and we started having problems with it where we would rock walk run use the treadmill and after about three minutes it would just shut down come to find it out after getting a repairman out here it was a simple fix they opened this up put in a new I don't know, motherboard or something like that. And we haven't had any problems with it since. So I recommend Nordic Track. They had great customer service, but it was quite a process to finally get it fixed. The nice thing about Nordic Track, I don't have it turned on right now, but it has this really nice screen right here. And you can like do walks through Hawaii, like the beach in Hawaii or walk through Costa Rica or like, I don't know, there are these like, really kind of fun workouts to get you focused more on, I don't know, the backdrop or whatnot and less on walking or running. So that makes it kind of fun. Speed goes up to 12 and then the incline goes all the way up to 40. So that's kind of nice as well. It has a little thing in here, speakers and the oh poop cord. That's what I got <laughs> um, that you pull if you need it to stop really fast. Next up is our elliptical, which is pre-core. This is our oldest piece of equipment. We had this back at our old house when we didn't have any other gym equipment but an elliptical. And it is held strong, so I definitely recommend pre-core. I don't know about their other equipment, but for elliptical, it's nothing special. I mean, it's, it does what it does, but we've never had a problem with it. Knock on wood. Our new piece of cardio equipment that I really, really love is this rower. It's from Concept2. One thing, if you go to Concept2's website, this rower is a little bit higher off the ground than the standard. It just was an extra upgrade fee. When it comes to a full body workout, a uh, rower is a great option because you're just think about it you're using your whole entire body um and then we do have this tv up on the wall and we got this arm for it i'll definitely link this arm below because it pulls way way out and then can turn like actually it can go even more than that see how it like 
really pulls out. Some workouts over there, YouTube, whatever. You can see the TV from there and then any of the cardio equipment, obviously. Over here is where I probably spend majority of my time because I do a lot of floor work and I tend to, when I do anything with weights, I just bring them over here because we have this really nice wrestling mat that Ken so luckily was able to buy from someone that Chase used to wrestle with. His grandmother had bought this for their house or their basement. She didn't want it anymore. We got it for a hundred dollars. Like, so this will not be linked down below because this was just something that we lucked out on. But if you can get your hands on a wrestling mat, they're just really, really nice. Over here, first up we have this Terracore. This is really nice. I've used this on my Instagram before, shared it with you guys. I really like it for sit-ups because it just feels better on your back than laying on the ground. But there's all kinds of workouts that you can do with the TerraCore, I'll link that below. We have this rack that we just recently got off of Amazon where we hang all of our resistance bands, jump ropes. Well, I guess that's about it. That's what all this stuff is, is resistance bands. So that's all organized there. We have these BOSU balls, which were actually brought over by our personal trainer last year and we still have them. So if he wants them back, he can get them or they're ours for now, I guess. We have two medicine bowls. We have a 20 pound one and a 14 pound one, both from Amazon. And there's a lot of different things you can do with those. I just added this to our workout collection and I actually used it for the first time yesterday when I was using the Alive by Whitney Simmons app and it was a really hard, difficult move. Just the exercise ball. I know when you order these, they're based off of like your height. So they come in different sizes, but we have a blue one and then I have another colored one over there. I haven't put air in yet, but this is a nice little tool to have. We have this step that I recently got off of Amazon and I'll have to say when I ordered it, I thought it was gonna be a little bit like bigger. I mean, it serves its purpose, but I just feel like, I don't know, it could be a stand to be, if you ever did aerobics, like those step classes, it's bigger than this, just to give you a size comparison. I thought that's what it was gonna be like, but I don't hate it, but a little disappointed on the size. Tripod here in the corner when I film things for my Instagram story. This is what I'm using. We have a clock down here in the corner. It actually comes with this remote too, so you can have it where it like counts down. Um, you could have it where it beeps every 30 seconds, like if you're doing Tabata or something like that. So it's pretty nice. This is our mirror that we got installed on the wall and we did it the easy way where we just had it placed right above the electrical outlets. Some people do them all the way down to the ground. So then the outlets have to be built into it, but I really don't know what the purpose of that would be. This works just fine and I love and hate having a mirror, let's put it that way. Sometimes I just really don't want to see what I look like when I'm doing something. Our windowsill up here, we have our JBL boom box. Some people might think that this isn't an important part of a home gym, but I'll tell you there are days that listening to the music is the only thing that gets me through a workout. So definitely a necessity to have some sort of speaker or whatever in your gym. I have my iPad here. I just keep it down here all the time because I don't use it that often because I use Spotify for all my music and then like the Alive app that I've been using for my workouts. Uh, I just have that here and it's connected through the speaker. So if you've ever used the Alive app, there's certain parts where it beeps, where it's like time to go to the next move. It'll go right through the speaker, which is kind of nice. And then we just have like the remote for the TV, my chapstick, you know, all that good stuff. And then we put these pads up here. We actually bought a, um, I think this was like a rug from Target and we just cut them so they would fit up here so we don't like nick up the windowsill. Down here we have two sets of kettlebells. We have 15 pound and 20 pound kettlebells. These are some little weight thingies. You might not know what those are, doesn't matter. We have some lighter weights, some five pound ones. Those are just older. And then we have this stack of weights here that we actually bought Blake for Christmas. Yes, we basically snagged Blake's Christmas present from 
not this last Christmas, but the year before. So Blake, if you're watching, you're welcome to come use your weights whenever you want. <laughs> but there's five, 10s, 15s, 20s, and 25s. And then over here, we have this additional weight rack of 20s, 35s, 30s. Okay, they're out of order, but Chase's workout shoes because he's here pretty much almost every day working out. Ideally, I would like to get like a bigger rack like this that takes up this whole wall and have all the weights on that. But for now, this is what we have. This basket here is filled with some miscellaneous stuff. We have a roller, we have some yoga mats. This is a pad for um, this barbell or the big barbell, like if you're doing hip thrusts. We have this wheel thing. Um, oh, another roller. We have some resistance bands. Other little small weights in there and then these things. I've not used these yet, but like you put your feet on them and they slide. The problem is with our floor, the only place you can use these is on the gray floor over there. So speaking of floor, I completely forgot to add in the part about our gym floor, the black floor. We actually installed horse stall mats. They're four foot by six foot and we got them from Tractor Supply Company and we installed them on the floor face down. So the rubber like texture is face down to the concrete and then the flat and sort of speckled part is facing up that way for easier cleaning. Some recent additions since we finished this area of our home gym are these weights and these are rubber weights so you're able to like you know drop them on the floor and it's not going to hurt the floor or the weight. So first up we have a four foot barbell that I definitely wanted to have and I really like it. I use it a lot. We also have another four foot barbell that is the curved bar. These weights, they come with 10s, 15s, 25s, 35s, and 45s. Yeah, because here's the 35s. And I will tell you, I'll link them below. They're from Amazon. Don't panic when they're shipped because they all came in the mail on a different day in separate boxes. It was crazy but they did all eventually come. This is Chase's, I don't know if he wears it or not, but we have a little basket with our chalk in there. All right, our squat rack is new. We've only had this, I think, for a couple weeks. I've honestly not used it yet, but Chase definitely uses it every day. He kind of just leaves his weights here on it all the time, but um, that was from Amazon. And it's actually really nice because it doesn't stick out too, from, too far from the wall, like if you don't have a lot of room. And then this bench here actually came with this weight pulley system over here. And we have had this for probably about 10, 12, 15 years. We've had this for a long time. As you can see, the bench has seen better days. So we were trying to figure out if there's a way we can recover this with new leather or if we should just get a new one. But that's what it looks like for now. This pulley system over here, I actually love that we have it for the first time ever. Doing Whitney Simmons workouts on the Alive app, she actually has a lot of exercises that you use this pulley system for your arms, your legs, like she does a lot of stuff with this. In the past, I never really knew what to do with it, so I'm glad that we're finally getting use out of it now. Chase uses this a lot too. The brand of this is Aspire. I'm sure if you went to buy one of these today, it would probably look a little bit different than this one because it is so old. Chase clearly does something with this over here. And it actually comes with a lot of additional bars and the rope and uh, different kind of straps and stuff. Cause you can have these up top for the pulley system or you can have them down at the bottom. And then there's also like a pull up bar up here as well. We've had this since last Christmas. This was kind of like Ken and I's Christmas present to each other, super romantic. Not Christmas of 21, but Christmas of 2020. We were just kind of getting into working out. And I have to say, I don't love this. This isn't my favorite part of the gym. It takes up a lot of room. And personally, I like this little thing here because you can do squats with it. I use this to do this. 
you know i'm really good with names of stuff in case you didn't notice that and it's like and, and there is the leg thing here too i don't use this as much i probably should because you can put weights on the end of it it's like so big for the amount of exercises that are available on it so i mean i don't know what else we would put here if we didn't have this but like i said um, it's just not my favorite piece of equipment in the gym. I like to do more free weight type stuff. This is called Power Tech, by the way. I will link it down below of where we got it from. And then we had to buy this additional little weight thing here. It's a stand you can put all your weights on. And I do believe when you order a Power Tech, you have to decide like how much weight total of weights that you want 600 pounds of weights maybe i don't know i'll look it up but i'll link it down below just in case you guys are interested like i said it's just not my favorite piece of the gym but it does make us look pretty like official like wow we know what we're doing in this gym and then one final part of our gym is our wonderful barn doors i just really love these um rather than having just like a basic white storage room looking door we put these barn doors up and this room here is just like a utility room like a little storage room and then the one on this side just real quick oh, you can't even really see you're not allowed to look yet that's ken's he calls it his office i call it his man cave because his office literally takes up this tiny little corner and rest of it is all of his like sports memorabilia, the arcade, the, what's that thing called? Foosball table. So he said he really wanted to do a little man cave room tour for you guys. So that'll be coming up in a future video. So hopefully I covered everything for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm super excited that this is done. If you've been following along in our vlogs, this was a long 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 process and it's finally done and it just feels great to be able to come down here and work out in our own little space so thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time bye